snack, and Essie. Plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> oh, Nat, I've learned so much about worms. No, don't put them on my face. Ah, worms, worms. Oh, wait, they're not eating me. Oh, they're so, oh, wormy. Oh, no, ah, worms. One scoop of red wigglers coming right up. Red wigglers? What are red wigglers, Nat? Well, Miss Skye, it's almost springtime. And in springtime, you have to get ready for your garden. So, I'm going to show you my compost bin. And inside of my compost bin, I've got a whole bunch of ooey gooey worms. Wow! Miss Nat, can you teach me how to make a compost bin? Look at all of these worms! But, Miss Nat, it's snowing outside. How are you going to make a compost bin? Aren't the worms going to not make it? Look at all that snow! That's a great question, Miss Skye. You can actually make a compost bin and keep it inside. It's really easy. And this way, you can have really great dirt to make a wonderful garden. So you're telling me these ooey gooey things help break down food and waste and you can put the dirt into your garden to make a beautiful garden? Let's do it! Miss Nat, let's learn how to make compost. Well, Miss Skye, just looking at this bowl alone, you can already see a few things that go in a compost bin. I have broken down paper, leaves, I've got vegetable scraps, and of course, my worms that help break it down. When you make a compost bin, you need 30 to one parts. 30 parts are brown materials. That's like cardboard and leaves and sticks. Anything brown, and only one part is going to be food scraps. Fruits, vegetables, anything that you're not going to eat anymore. The worms will eat it all. Look, there they are. And they will break it down and make it into dirt. Then you can put it into your garden. When a worm breaks it down completely, it's called worm castings. This is my giant compost bin that I keep inside of my house in the basement over the winter time. Worms like it between 40 and 84 degrees. Oh my goodness, Nat, what's this? Paper bags? Tissues? What, an old carrot? Oh yeah, that one is super flimsy. I'm not going to eat it. And an old cucumber? What else is in here? Yep, these are just some things that worms will eat for you. I usually break up my son's school papers, some carrot shreds, an old cucumber, an old carrot. I make it into smaller pieces, of course, and lots of old leaves. And check out all of this old food waste. Instead of throwing it into the sink or into the trash, we can throw it on top of our compost bin. And the worms will break it down and make it into dirt for us. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, Miss Nat! I fell inside of the compost bin! The worms, they're going to eat me! Help, help, help! Um, Sky, don't worry. The worms will not eat you. Worms will eat all of this, but not you. Check out what these worms have done to this leaf so far. It's breaking down. They've got little nibbles everywhere. Wow. Soon, this leaf will be completely gone. Did you know that worms like to eat leaves, paper, cardboard? They also like to eat vegetable scraps and fruits. Something I don't put into my compost bin are citrus fruits, anything that's super, super acidic, like oranges, and they also don't like onions and peppers. If you leave out onions, peppers, and citrus from your compost, it should do pretty well. One of their favorite things to eat is coffee grounds. And you know what else they like to eat? Noodles and oats. Yep, our worms do love to eat oats. 
I'm going to put my worms back into their compost pile and let's watch them wiggle their way all the way down to the bottom. Let's make a nice little hole where the dirt starts or the compost is really moist. Right there. Time to add our worms in. And let's watch them wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now let's take our spoon, cover it back up with all of our fresh materials, and that is my compost bin. I put it back into the basement, sometimes I spray it with some water so it's a little bit moist but not too moist, and the worms will eat this all up, and in a few months I'll have some really nice rich dirt for my garden. Did you know that worms have rings on their bodies? What are the rings on their bodies called? And did you know that worms don't have eyes or legs? How are worms supposed to know where to go? My goodness, you worms! You're supposed to have eyes and legs! Sky, worms are not scary! Look at them! The rings on their body are called segments. Segments! Okay. And did you know that worms can actually sense light? They don't have arms or legs, but they can wiggle and go under things. And they sense light, so they like to hide. Worms like it very dark. If you watch them for a few seconds, you'll see that they start to hide. Oh, wormies, you're starting to hide. Just watch them a few seconds. They'll probably all slither right under here. And when we lift this up in a second, they're all going to be hiding right down here. Wormies! Oh, Nat! I've learned so much about worms! No! Don't put them on my face! Ah! Worms! Worms! Oh, wait, they're not eating me! Oh, they're so... Oh, wormy! Oh, no! Ah, worms! So what we know about worms is they can break down food and make it into dirt. When they do it, it's called castings, and it's super good for your garden. Woo! You can keep a compost bin in your basement as long as your basement is 40 to 84 degrees. Hmm, I have another question, Miss Nat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have so many questions about worms and composting. Have you ever seen a baby worm before? Like, what does a baby worm look like? Well, that's a great question. A baby worm is just much smaller. They hatch from a cocoon, and they're really tiny. I wonder if we can find any today. I don't think I see any baby worms in here. They're very thin and very small. Oh my goodness, look. I was cleaning them out. There's a little baby. Do you see how small this one is? Here's some big worms, and there's a little baby. It's so much smaller and so cute. And when we talk about worm babies, it takes about 90 days for new worms to come. But when they keep making more worms all over the place, every 90 days we can get thousands of worms. There's so many types of worms, thousands of them. And they're so fun to find. And they're so good for your garden. I hope you learned something about worm composting today. You can take old papers, cardboard, leaves, and you can take food scraps and make your own compost. The worms will eat it up and soon you'll have some good looking dirt. 